In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve simultaneous equations using the substitution method. So all that means is we're going to work out the values of two unknowns, so in this one, x and y, by substituting one of the equations into the other one. So in this one, as you can see, this second equation here, it's written as y equals, which is perfect. It means that we can change the value of y in the top equation to this expression here, 7 minus 2x, because this is exactly the same as the value of y. So we're just going to substitute that in there instead of writing the letter y. So if I write that top equation out again down here, so 3x minus 2, except when I get to the letter y, I'm going to write this instead, because remember, this is the same as the letter y. Just remember to put that in brackets, because you're multiplying the letter y by negative 2, and this is our letter y, so you have to remember you're multiplying all of this by negative 2, so make sure it goes inside brackets. Now, as you can see here, we've got an equation that only has x as the unknown. So we can solve this linear equation to calculate x. So I'm going to expand the brackets in this equation. I've got negative 2 times 7, which is just negative 14. Then I've got negative 2 times negative 2x. So be careful, we've got a negative times a negative, which gives me a positive, and it gives me positive 4x. Now I'm just simplifying this equation, so I've got 3x plus 4x, which is 7x, not forgetting the negative 14, that's still there, and now I need to solve this equation. So I need to get rid of this negative 14. Hopefully you know when you're solving linear equations, if you move things away from the x and something moves across the equal sign like this, it changes sign. So this negative 14 will become a positive. So we've got 7x equals positive 14. So 7 multiplied by x gives me 14, which means x must be 2, because 7 times 2 is 14. So we found the value of x. All that we need to do now is work out the value of y. So going back to that equation here from earlier, this one is organized to say y equals. So if we just plug that value here of x, which is 2, into here, we can just calculate this and it will give us the value of y. So I'm going to write this equation out again, except when I get to the letter x, I'm going to write the number 2 instead, because remember, x is 2, we just worked it out. So I'm going to write the number 2 here. So you can write brackets or you can write multiply. Just remember they're being multiplied together, okay? And brackets mean multiply, so you can write it like that. So minus 2 times 2, well that's negative 4, and 7 take away 4 is 3. So I found my value of y. So we've solved the simultaneous equations because we worked out x and we worked out y. Just remember, when you get given two equations like this, and one of them is written as y equals or x equals, it's a really good idea to use this substitution method because all you're doing is swapping that in to the other equation and you've immediately got an equation with only one letter as the unknown that you can use to solve rather quickly. Okay, I've got another one coming up. Okay, so remember, in the last example, I said that one of the equations needs to be rearranged to say either x equals or y equals before you can substitute it into, into the other equation. Well, that's not the case, annoyingly, with these two equations, so you need to rearrange one of them to get either x equals or y equals. So it doesn't matter which one you choose, we could arrange this one to have y equals or this one to have x equals. As long as we do it correctly, we should get exactly the same answer whichever, whichever method method we use. So I'm going to take this bottom equation and I'm going to rearrange it to get x by itself. So I'm going to move that positive 3y to the other side of the equal sign. So remember, when something moves across the equal sign like this, it changes sign. So this positive 3y will change to a negative. So I've got x equals negative 3y and this is still positive 5, so I write plus. 
So I've just rearranged that equation. So I'm going to cross it out now. I don't need to use that one. I've just rearranged it to get x equals. So now, just like before, I can substitute this into the top equation. So x is equal to this expression here. So I can change the x letter in the top equation to this because they're exactly the same. So you're going to substitute that into that top equation at the front there. So I'm going to write out what that gives me. So I'm going to write out that top equation, but instead of writing the letter x, I'm going to write this, not forgetting to put brackets around it because we're multiplying all of it by the number two. And then we've still got plus y equals five. So, oops. Okay, so now we need to expand the brackets and solve this equation that only has y as the unknown. So if I expand these brackets here, I get two multiplied by negative three y, which is negative six y. Then I've got two multiplied by five, which is positive 10. And everything else is still there, it stays the same. And now I can simplify. So I've got negative six y plus one y, which is negative five y. Everything else stays the same. And I'm going to carry this on up here so I don't run out of space. So I'm solving this equation. I need to get y by itself. So I'm going to get rid of this positive 10. So I'm going to minus 10 on both sides of the equation. On the left hand side, well, 10 take away 10 is just 0. And so I'm left with negative 5y on the left. Then I've got the equal sign. And 5 minus 10 is just negative 5. And negative 5 multiplied by something gives me negative 5. Well, that something must be 1. Because negative 5 multiplied by 1 is still negative 5. So I found the value of y. So all that's left is to find the x value. And we can use that equation there since it's already organized to say x equals. So we just need to swap that value of 1 into here where the letter y is and we can calculate this to find x. So I'm going to write this equation out again except when I get to the letter y instead of writing y I write the number 1 and everything else is the same in that equation. So if I calculate that well negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 and then if I add 5 I get positive 2. So I solved the simultaneous equations. I found both x and y in those two linear equations. So as you'll find with solving simultaneous equations, there's often more than one method, okay? You could have rearranged this equation to have y equals at the beginning instead of this one to have x equals, but you'll arrive at exactly the same answer. And then you've also got the method of solving simultaneous equations by elimination, which I talk about in another video. But if you spot that one of your equations is written as x equals or y equals, or that it's not that difficult to rearrange it so that it looks like this, then you might want to use this method here of substitution. So I hope that's clear and that's all from me for today, so goodbye.